Hey, what's up guys? It's Rob. Hope you're doing really good out there. So this video is going to be quite niche and quite specific, but I feel like it might help quite a lot of people out. So one thing that I've started doing a lot lately is actually live streaming over on TikTok, just using my phone. And it's basically me playing the guitar, chatting to people. I might be jamming over backing tracks, listening to things, all that good stuff. And one thing I've been really trying my best with lately is to figure out how to get the best possible sound on this TikTok live stream. But this would actually work for other platforms like Instagram or Facebook or anywhere that you want to live stream using your phone. It's taken me a little bit of time, but I finally figured it out and I finally got everything working exactly how I want to. I've got really good audio and people actually comment this on my TikTok live streams quite a lot. They usually ask how I get such good sound because it, it does sound quite good. So I'm going to run through everything that I need to be able to do this and then I'm going to show you how to set it up. There's quite a bit to get through so I'm going to try and get through it fairly quickly. I don't want this video to drag on for too long. But first, let's go through all of the things that we're going to need to be able to do this. So first, obviously, it goes without saying, a guitar or any instrument for that matter, anything that you want to play or put through the audio of the live stream and things like that. I play guitar, so this is me putting my guitar through it, so obviously I need a guitar. So as well as playing the guitar, I'm gonna need to talk to people. So I have this condenser microphone here, which I've used for years. It's just a normal condenser microphone, nothing special about it, and that's plugged straight into my laptop. So you're gonna need some sort of microphone to be able to talk to people too. And as I've just mentioned, the next thing is a laptop or a computer. You're gonna need something to run this through, so I'm just using my MacBook. So next, we actually need to connect the guitar or instrument, as well as the microphone, to the laptop and we're going to use an audio interface for this. I just use one audio interface, it's the M Audio Air, but whatever audio interface you have will be absolutely fine. As long as there's enough channels on the interface to plug all the things into it that you need. So the next thing is probably the most important thing out of the whole process to get really good audio on your live streams. And I'm just going to be honest, it costs a little bit of money. And this is the iRig Stream. This is not sponsored by the way, this video, this is not me being paid to push this product or anything like that. This is just through my own research. I found this and I've tried it out and it's absolutely brilliant for doing exactly what you want. So the iRig Stream, I think it was about 80 pounds, 80 British pounds, which is closer to like 90, maybe 100 US dollars. It's quite expensive, but if you're serious about doing this, it's an investment, it's well worth it. So this is what we're gonna need. This is the secret ingredient. And that's just this little device here, which basically acts as almost a second interface in this whole process. So we're gonna need one of these because this comes with a couple cables. This being the one that I use because this has a lightning adapter, which plugs directly into my iPhone, just like this. And the other side of this will plug into the iRig stream so that then this sends the output out of this directly into my phone. If any of this doesn't make sense, then stick with me because it will shortly. So as well as the iRig stream, like I said, it has two RCA inputs on the bottom of it. So you're gonna need some sort of RCA cable. So I bought this RCA cable on Amazon when I bought the iRig stream as well. And it's just a red and white RCA on this side to a quarter inch jack on this side. So that's what we got so far. And lastly, you're just gonna need some way of being able to hear all of this as well. So either headphones, or I just use my in-ear monitors, but even just normal earphones will be absolutely fine. And the next thing isn't really audio related, but it is related to the live streams. It's the fact that whilst you've got the iRig stream plugged into your phone at the bottom there, that means that you can't then plug a charger in as well. So you're gonna need some way to keep your phone charged or plugged in to some sort of power whilst you're on a live stream so it doesn't drain your battery. Now my phone charges wirelessly, so I don't know if you can see it, I can't actually drag it up because it's still plugged in here, but I've got a wireless little charger there that I can just put my phone on and that just keeps it charged throughout the whole thing. But you might need to look at some way of kind of charging your phone or keeping it charged whilst you've got all this sort of stuff plugged in. That depends on what phone you've got and everything like that. So here's basically everything to be able to run this. Like I said, I've got my phone here and this is the wireless charger that I use and I just clip this on the back of my phone and it starts to charge just like that. So I usually leave that on whilst I am doing a live stream in the background. So here's the iRig stream here. This is the little device that I mentioned earlier, as well as my in-ear monitors. I've got the RCA cable. Here's my M Audio Air interface, which is plugged into my laptop. This is just my MacBook, but whatever laptop or computer you have will be absolutely fine. And I've got this microphone too. So very quickly, and I'll try and make this as simple to follow as possible. This microphone, this condenser microphone with this cable, this purple cable here, is plugged into input one on my M Audio Air interface and I plug the guitar into input two. I am then gonna take the RCA to jack cable and I'm gonna plug the quarter inch jack into the headphone output of my M Audio Air 
interface and then connect up the RCA inputs on the other side of that into the iRig stream. So like that so far. Then I'm going to use this lightning cable that comes with the iRig stream because like I said, I've got an iPhone and this is the connection that I need. I'm going to plug this side into my phone, but this side plugs into the top of the iRig stream. Just like that. So then this will now plug into my phone. And next I'm going to take my in -ear monitors like that and I'm just going to plug them straight into the iRig stream, just like that. That is basically the entire setup. All I need to do now in terms of the actual physical setup is to plug this into my phone like that. And when I did that, I don't know if you could see that now some of the lights have come on on the iRig stream like that. That's just showing that it's being powered because you don't need any batteries or any power for this. You can actually add an external power for it, but you don't need to because it runs off the power of your phone. Uh, which is why it's good to have some sort of way of charging your phone because it might absolutely drain it. Uh, anyway, oh, and then another thing that I have which is not necessarily important but it helps is I've got this little stand for my phone here. So I just kind of clip my phone onto that like that so that I can have the iRig stream plugged in at the bottom and the charger cable for the phone is still plugged in also at the same time. So the next main thing is that when you've got all of this stuff and you've got it all assembled and plugged in, then there's a couple of things that we need to do on the computer, on the laptop, to be able to sort the audio and route it to go where we want it to go and everything like that. So let's look at that now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my system preferences and I'm going to click on sound and I'm just going to make sure that the output of my laptop, the audio that my laptop creates, whether it's listening to music or backing tracks or anything like that, all of the output is coming out of my Air 192 audio interface, which it is, so that's cool. I'm also going to switch over to the input and I'm going to make sure that that interface, the USB interface is acting as my input as well, which it is, as you can see, because you're getting a level off this microphone here. Even though I'm not using this currently, you can't hear this microphone. I'm using my camera microphone currently, but you can see the level that I'm getting if I tap on it there. And even when I'm just speaking, so that is getting some sort of level there. And like I said, that's the input and the output on my laptop to be set as my audio interface. And what that's essentially doing is putting all of the audio that my laptop creates and it's sending all of that audio out of the headphone output of my interface on the front. But instead of headphones being plugged into that, I've got the jack input that I mentioned earlier, which is plugged into the iRig stream. So basically all of the audio is coming out of my interface through this into the iRig stream. Then the iRig stream is sending it through this cable directly into my phone. And then obviously the way that you hear that is that you plug the headphones into this so you can hear everything. Now, in terms of guitar, what I do is if you can see here, I've basically got a garage band session with loads of different tracks there, all labeled with a different type of sound. So I go into the garage band session and my preferences here on the audio and MIDI tab is that my input is the air. So it's taking input from the air as well, whether it's the microphone or the guitar cable. And the output device, I've got a system setting. I don't want to set the output of that to be the air. I want it to be the system setting, which is basically what my overall system settings are on my laptop, which I already mentioned a minute ago, are the air anyway, if that makes sense, my interface. So then all I need to do is plug in my guitar there and just make sure I'm getting some sort of signal which I am because I can see the line there on my computer. So what I've done is on this session, right at the top, I've made an audio track here, which is specifically set up to be for the microphone here. So that I can go on all of the guitar tracks here and change all of my sounds, but I also have this one at the top here, which is the microphone. And I could even add reverb to that or anything that I want in GarageBand. But the way that you make this sort of be able to be heard as well is that you need to record enable it. So if you right click and go on configure track header, you wanna make sure that record enable is clicked. So that means that you can then have this little record button here clicked on more than one track, all the tracks that you wanna hear. You don't have to record anything by the way, you can literally just have it open and running and all of the sounds will be playing. So now let's plug it all in and then I'm gonna switch over to my phone and show you what it sounds like when everything is plugged into the phone now. So the next bit of audio you're gonna hear is everything coming out of my laptop and the interface going through the iRig stream straight into my phone. Oh, here we go, now I'm recording on my phone and I've got my microphone here so you can hear me talking and I've got the iRig stream here and my in-ear monitors, I've got them in and as you can see, they're plugged straight into the iRig stream and like I said, these RCA cables here, they're going straight 
into the output, the headphone output of my audio interface. And I've already showed you how to get everything set up on the computer. So if I start to turn up the volume on my guitar and I play. Now I'm getting guitar sounds as well as you've been able to hear my microphone. So I can do both at the same time. I can play the guitar and talk and you can hear everything really, really good. All the audio is being captured straight into the phone. And as I mentioned about having different sounds and things like that, I can literally click a different track. And now I've got a high gain tone. More of a lead guitar tone and things like that, but you can tell what I mean. Basically, you can hear everything perfectly. So as well as being able to just talk and then play the guitar as well, like I said, I've got all of the audio coming out of my laptop, also coming through this as well. So if I put a backing track on, on my computer and I've just got one loaded up here, I can play that as well and you'll hear that right now. And I can just jam over the top of this. You can still hear me talking and I've still got my guitar going. And it sounds really good. So that's basically it. That's everything that I do to be able to do a live stream over on TikTok. But like I said, it's basically a live stream that you're gonna do from your mobile phone, your cell phone. So if you're live streaming using your phone, not just TikTok, but on Instagram, Facebook, anything for that matter, this process should work absolutely perfectly. Like I said, the main ingredient is the iRig stream, not sponsored, it's just really good. And it's made this whole thing super, super easy. So that's the main expense if you like, but totally worth it in my opinion. I hope this made sense anyway, and I hope that this helps a lot of people who also want to live stream and have really good audio on their streams and stuff like that. If it did, then you know, leave me a comment, let me know if it helped you out. Also, if you're not sure of anything, please leave a comment and I'll see if I can help you out if there's something that I said in this video which you didn't quite understand. But anyway, I really hope that you did find this video helpful, like I said, and if you want to check out any of my live streams, then you can follow me over on TikTok, it's just at Robert Galley. I hope you've enjoyed the video and if you have then please don't forget to leave it a like, leave me a comment, let me know what you think. And if you're new to my channel then please don't forget to subscribe and make lots of guitar and music related content and hopefully I'll see you in my next video. So thanks for watching.